flashback. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Stop it, Colby. It's Abby's birthday. The time just flies by, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Hey, my little picturoonies, and welcome back to a new video. Welcome to hell. Welcome to stress. Welcome to the end of days. Welcome to the seven toddlers challenge. And they're all toddlers now. Last episode, they were babies. There was lots of crying. There was lots of screaming. There was lots of me only really tending to them when they were dying of hunger. This episode, they're all toddlers. And I've already gone in and added all of their, like, CC. And I've basically tried to replicate the dads as much as I can so it's gonna be really easy for us to like tell the difference between everybody hopefully that makes sense so don't forget if you guys enjoy this challenge please give it a big cheeky thumbs up I don't actually know if I'll get them all the way to uh, children in this episode but I'm gonna try my best I've set the lifespan to uh, normal which means that they live for seven days well they don't live for seven days but they're toddlers for seven days let's just see if we can get through seven days of toddlerness do you guys want to see them all do you remember Mia who is our unlucky poor lady that has to try and deal with this babble of nonsense. But in order of age, we have Abby Ship, named after the letter A to help us remember that she is Abel's child. And if you couldn't remember enough, I mean, she looks super, super similar to Abel once I put all of her CC on. And basically, I just, I like dressing toddlers. So I've dressed her in the typical Villarreal fashion because that's how we roll. So there is little Abby. And then we've got Ryder's um, daughter, which is Rebecca Ship. So Ryder. Literally so Ryder and so so adorable and also making me really sad that he never had any biological children because look how cute she is. Here is all of her little respective outfits. I tried to keep some of Ryder's like crazy cuteness in there. Then we've got Brody who, oh is it Brody or Brody? I don't know. I'm gonna say Brody. Braylon's child. I don't know where the monolids came from. Apparently Braylon has monolids. I didn't realize that but whatever. I've given him Braylon's hair and kind of like Braylon's sort of dress sense apart from Pikachu. I just gave him that because it was cute. Then we've got Tegan who is is Toby's child. Toby was my blue rainbow sims challenge. You can see a lot of Toby and I love seeing them in the babies. Like the genetics is really fun. So yeah, I've just dressed her kind of like on the vibes of blue to help us remember Toby a little bit. And we've got Kate Ship, who is Kobe's child. So she is Korean. Hopefully that comes across. I know Kobe had green eyes, but realistically I decided to keep her looking like how Kobe would have looked if he didn't come from a rainbow challenge. So this is all of her little outfits as well. I think she's like super, super freaking cute. Then we've got Claire, which is me. But this is Cody's um, child. I can see so much Ryder in this kid's face and Roxy. It is unbelievable. So here is all of uh, my little outfits. And I've also got Cody's red hair. And then we've got Ida, who is Indigo Sims, like the Indigo um, male boy challenge. The same one as actually, uh, I think Kobe and Braylon all came from this challenge. And I don't know if you if you remember the dad's face very well, but he had um, Indigo colored eyes. So I've just changed those as well to brown. I just, if I'm not doing rainbow, I prefer a more realistic look. And oh my gosh, how freaking cute is this outfit? But yep, she is super, super adorable as well. So they're all like so cute and sweet. Also, a few of them are mermaids. Ida's a mermaid, I'm a mermaid, Kate's a mermaid, Tegan's a mermaid, Brody's a mermaid. Becca and Abby aren't. No, Abby is. Oh, Rebecca is. Okay, they're all mermaids now. Everybody's a mermaid. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, we all mermaids now. We've had 100% mermaid children. Let's get into the house. And oh, you guys will like lock them inside. The thing is, Tegan's already out. But I'm gonna have to get like toddler beds. You guys will like don't feed them in high chairs. Trust me, I have no intention of giving them high chairs. They're so glitchy they don't even work if there's only like one. So having seven and trying to do high chairs, bad idea. I'm kind of like as well, do I potty train them? Do I just let them figure life out? Kind of child abuse-y. Uh, I mean, they got abused pretty badly at babies. Let's not even lie. And then because I'm not a complete monster, I'll give them a more like kiddie friendly room. Although these colours I can just already tell are gonna make me go mad. <laughs> That's a bit more calming on my eyes. Like I can already imagine the chance of me going crazy are kind of high. And then I'm just gonna have to drag food in here. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna do is, oh my gosh, I know you're like dying of like hydration. But let's pick up this kid, Blue. Tegan, P Tegan, let's pick you up, lock you inside. Oh no, they're all gonna start coming out, aren't they? Put it inside, quick, put it inside. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. And then I need to lock this door. Lock for everyone but Mia. The children have to stay inside. And then, oh gosh, we've got new sibling. Oh gosh, they all hate each other. They all hate each other and who do, the door, I just bought the dollhouse. How is the dollhouse broken already? Ah! 
I'm gonna cook them some food. Let's just like make them some food. They can eat grilled cheese. Oh no, grilled cheese will set the house on fire. Ugh. Oh my gosh, should I make them all franks and beans? They all start farting everywhere. And then I'm just gonna leave them in here. But your dollhouse is fixed. There you go. Look, dollhouse fixed. Just don't be brats. That's all you gotta do. And I'm kind of intrigued to see who makes friends with who. So we've got little Kate here. She's kind of just sitting on the bed with her. Oh my gosh, with your little, little cute panda there. That is super adorable. We've got... Claire and Tegan up here having a chit chat. I'll be playing with a jellyfish thing. Ida's playing with the dollhouse. That's kind of cute. Um, Brody's off to go play with her as well. And Ryder, child Ryder, Rebecca is playing with the big cat. Okay, look, this is way easier. They're all just sorting themselves out. They're getting the imagination skill. This is fine. This is fine. I don't know what this green thing you're all thinking about is. You're all thinking about shapes. Whatever. You're all learning. You're all dealing with yourselves. This is great. I've weed myself. That is less great. But okay, just serve them that and then go and take yourself a look. No, don't give bubble bath. No, no, no. Let's just have our own bubble bath, please. And then I'm just going to drag this here. And then if you want to eat, it, it's there. Is it floating quite high? Oh no, get on the floor. Get, get down. Children, your, di your dinner is on the floor. Eat up, okay? Oh, they're wrecking. Okay, Rebecca's wrecking. Rebecca the wrecker. They got food. They're not dying anytime soon. They're fine. Apart from me, I'm really sad about meeting these siblings. I'm sort of hating them all, apparently. Yeah, that is the phase of someone that's like, uh, why do I have six children all with different fathers? I hate them all. And that I'm doing my little mermaid washes, staying far away from my mer children. And it's kind of cute and adorable, just leaving a load of babies by themselves. I'm, I can't, I'm not allowed to control the babies in any way. So I can't like tell them what to do and who to talk to and who to make friends with. So it's going to be all like totally organic who they decide to make friends with, which I actually think is really cute. Look at this, Rebecca and Tegan hugging each other. I kind of want some of them to hate each other just because that would be even more fun. I feel like Abby is like a watcher. She just like sits on the bed and observes. She seems a little bit more shy. She has the independent trait. So I guess she's not quite as bothered about chit chatting with everyone else. This feels like such a little social experiment. I'm just like watching everyone. I feel like the stuff I bought was good stuff. Like they're loving this. They're loving this. They're loving this. They're loving farting all over each other. This is great. This is all absolutely great. Oh, they're starting to get hungry. They're starting to eat the food. I've noticed everything. Oh my gosh. Is she just using the toilet on her own? How? How? How are you doing this? Is it because you're independent? Oh my gosh, this is the best skill ever for this challenge. Ida's just using the potty on her own. Like, this is amazing. These two are both independent, so they're going to be so much easier compared to this little bubble. Okay, I've... This, like, this is going really well. No one's on fire. Everything's fine. Your fathers may even come and visit. Not that they can get in, actually. Tegan. Tegan got the potty skill on herself, too. Well done. Again, every time one of the babies does, like, a fart, of which I'm seeing a lot of, the other babies hate it more. They hate it. So they hate the child that does the farts. And I gave them all franks and beans, which makes you fart. So interesting little experiment. They're all farting on each other. Eating their little fart bowls of farts. That's what they're eating. Just go to bed. Let everyone's like, shut up, Rebecca. <laughs> we all have to live in this house together. Look at this. Little cute Abby just went for a little nap. She didn't even get into bed. She's just doing a little, little curl up sleep at the top of the bed, which is obviously, oh my gosh. She's got the face of a little angel. Let's face it. But yeah, the toddlers are getting tired. They're getting stroppy. They're all oh, there's tantrums going on everywhere, left, right, and center. I can't even say to them go to bed. So they're just gonna like tantrum away, and there's nothing I can do. Oh, she's stomping her feet and everything. She's stomping a little Gucci's. Oh, and she's farting. Do toddlers fart as much in real life as this game makes it seem like? Because in this game, toddlers fart all the time, like way too much. And I need a bath again, so I'm gonna go take a bath. Then this food goes off in two hours. <sighs> Gonna have to cook some more food. <gasps> oh, and the dollhouse is wrecked. Yeah, Tegan's having a massive straw. She smashed the dollhouse and look at that face. She's like, yeah, no one gets toys. No one gets dolls under my watch. I am in charge of this room now. She looks so unhappy and sad about that as well. She's like, I wanted stories. Oh, and I've voluntarily gone in. Voluntarily. Just gone in and picked up one of them and put it back down again. Okay, favoritism. They don't sleep. They only nap. What are you guys even thinking? Why don't you just actually sleep? There's all oh, the strops going on everywhere. Literally strops going on everywhere. And I've just left. Look at this. 
Just left it on the pan. Like, your toddlers are hungry. Go and finish your food. What are you doing? Go here. Oh my gosh, they're gonna get taken away. You're gonna have to cook something oh. else. Just make a salad. Okay, there we go, there we go. Go on, serve. Oh my gosh, you have to toss the salad. The babies are gonna get taken away. We're gonna have to, like, have more food options then than just this. I'm gonna have to have two at any one time. And then I guess I should at least, like try and potty train some of them. I feel like Rebecca and Abby are gonna get more attention just because when I click, they're the first ones that come up. Oh man, there's so much cleaning to do as well. And oh, the stinky diapers everywhere too. Oh, Indigo wants to come over and hang out. That's fine. You can help me with the toddlers, which means I'm gonna have to unlock this door temporarily so that he can come in. Okay, and we got some potty training going on as well. Indy, uh, this is your baby, Ida. Oh, the toddlers are escaping. They're escaping. No, where are you going? What are you doing? He's, he's so naughty. He's the biggest nightmare. You're hungry. Why have you just thrown your salad on the table? I can't even make you eat it. But you're hungry and I don't want any of you to get taken away. Just eat the salad. Look, look at your stupid, angry, stinky face. Just eat the salad. I can't, I can't control you. You're just gonna have to deal with it yourself. Where are you go You're running away. Oh my gosh, did you really have to come all the way out there just to eat your salad? Like, seriously? Now, I'm gonna have to go gather you back inside, aren't I? I thought Indy was meant to be coming over and helping. I can't see hair nor tail of him. I unlock the door, and all I've been left with is escaped toddlers. I feel like a coyote's gonna come and pick one off if I'm not careful. Like, look where I live. There's definitely coyotes here. And Kobe wants to come out on a date with me. I can't. You'll have to come here. And there's some, like, stinky toddler committee meeting going. Oh, my. Wow. Remember how pristine she looked not 20 minutes ago? And now look at her. I'm going to have to start cleaning some of the toddlers, aren't I? Oh, look. He's here just on my PC. I thought you were meant to be helping me with the toddlers. You're no help. Oh. Okay. Food deliveries. Food is up. There you go. I'm going to be myself again. I'm gonna wee myself. I can just feel it. I can't seem to make it to the toilet. Yeah, there we go. Weed herself again. In the bath you go. Brody is very hungry. Brody, you've got salad. You've got vegetable dumplings. You've got tofu tacos. How can you be hungry? Ida, Ida, what's wrong with you? I know you're sad because your dad literally didn't even come in and say hi. And oh my gosh. Everyone's so dirt and filthy. I need to potty train them. I need to potty train them. But how? How am I supposed to be able to do anything? She needs to sleep. I'm gonna have to try again tomorrow. And all the toddlers are just wild and running free now. As soon as they go back inside, I'm gonna lock the door. The fathers have proven they're no help. No help in this challenge. But kids sleeping outside the house, literally. They refuse to even go inside. That's how much they don't want to be members of this family. And I kind of don't blame them. But you need to stay inside, kids. Because let's face it, this ain't the kind of town you want to be just walking around in, okay? <gasps> the toddlers are invading my house! Of course it had to be you. Of course it had to be Brody. Like... What are, you, what are you doing right now? That is so disgusting. Like, why are you invading my house doing this? Like, literally gross, gross. Is, she, is he trying to wash himself? Okay, you know what? You can have a bubble bath since you were the one who made it the furthest. Why can't, like, when I was a kid, I used to get a bath with two of my cousins. Why can I only put one toddler in there? I should be able to put three. Look, she's happy because she's thinking of her children. Because they're growing up so fast. Like, you could have picked a better sim for it. Because if it was me, I would not be happy. I'd be like, is there no daycare I can just, like, freaking yeet these kids into? I should never have unlocked the door. Literally, I should never have unlocked the door. But look! One of the children is clean! Hooray! Wonder how long that will last for. Rebecca's clean. Look how much better they look when they're clean as well. She's gonna go, like, touch one of the dirty kids, like this one. And then she's gonna be all dirty again i can just tell she's waiting for a bus to get out of here i'm sorry kiddo there's no buses here oh my gosh one of my toddlers is all the way over here <laughs> how how did it get that far away oh my gosh it's kate kate you're all the way i just asked her for a bubble bath and she said no as well kate no oh my gosh why didn't i just lock them in a room oh why did i let them go free kate get a bubble bath Stop refusing your bath. Look, you're embarrassing me in front of the town. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to prove... No, no, no. Stop. Look how bad this looks. The army is here. Kate, stop this. You need to come home. Okay, forget it. I'm just going to pick you up and bring you home. Can't be out gallivanting on the town. Oh, the vegetable dumplings is... Oh my gosh, the food is spoiled. I need to get home and get cooking. Kate, you're going to kill all your chil all your siblings at this rate. Are they all inside? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Lock the door, lock the door! I'm gonna put a bath in there, okay? New plan. Why did I choose to do this challenge on hard again? <laughs> I don't even have a maid. 
A maid would be making my life so much easier. They're so hungry. Hurry up with the food, okay? Chuck some apples in a bowl. There you go. There you go. And now you're getting it. That's fine. You don't need to do any more than that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Picking your ear. Don't pick your ear and put it in. Yeah, that's done. Throw it on a plate. Throw it on a plate. It's fruit salad. Oh my gosh, what is she? Do you want your children's- Why is there just a bin there? Do you want your children to get taken away? Also, I'm realizing I need like the littiest bed ever because it takes me too long to sleep. I don't- I just don't have that luxury, okay? Ten. Sleep ten. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, finally she's getting around to pouring it in a bowl. She- she made that hard. I don't know who's annoying me more. Oh my gosh, you have to get one first. I don't know who's annoying me more. The babies or uh, Mia right now. They're both pretty annoying. Oh my god, can this woman not hold a bladder? How tiny is your bladder? And oh my gosh, I need to clean up. I need to clean up. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. I thought it was going to be easier as adults. Uh, sorry, as toddlers, but it's not. It is not. Claire is hungry. There's food for Claire. You'll find some. I'm trying to I'm trying to attempt to clean up this room, but like, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yep. Yeah, and she's going to wee herself. Yeah, I knew she wouldn't make it. I knew she wouldn't make it. And is that... No, where's the one that I washed? The one I washed still looks clean. You need to start washing more of them though, okay? Come and get a shower and then you need to start washing the children. And th this child's enraged. This kid is literally enraged. It's like, why why have I never been washed? Why have I been sitting in the unfilth in my nappy for how long have you been alive? Six, no, wait, that only been a day? <sighs> Please tell me that's been more than a day because that's been hell. Remember when they're all just playing all happily at the beginning? But it's turning into like what it was with the babies where all I care about is feeding them and nothing else really matters. I'm getting so many warnings about them being taken away as well. If there's like a flag system that have all been gone by now. But it's because they wake up hungry and instantly the game's like, well, they'll get taken away. And it's like, just give them a sec. Let them pick up a plate. Like they've got stuff in here, okay? I mean, a lot of it is dirt and filth, but shush, they're fine. We've just got to make it to love day, which is when everybody grows up into children oh my gosh it's been super crazy the past few days i was heading to the park to relax oh kobe i would kill to come to the park with you and relax but i have to look after the seven dwarfs the seven evil filthy hungry soul destroying life consuming dwarfs my fun is pretty much zero okay let's do some bubble baths Rebecca, you got bath last. Abby, I don't think you ever got your bath, so let's do you, because you've been running off into town. Was that Kate? Someone embarrassed me. Okay, we're gonna try bath everyone. Hungry, please say we've got food that's not gone off yet. You've got five hours. Five hours to bath everyone. I'm hoping that the bath will help with their, like, fun, but also with my fun, because... I, like, I'm miserable. Look at this. I'm super miserable. Kobe needs to go for a food because that sorts out my sadness. Brody, let's do Brody next. Oh, jeez. The kids are in bad shape. That's me. I'm in bad shape. Okay, two babies bathed. We're doing a good job. Three babies bathed. We're getting there, gang. Only got two and a half hours left. Another toddler bathed. Oh my gosh, her hair went ginger. She got so angry at her hair, literally, it became fire. Oh my gosh, I've somehow mastered the parenting skill. I have no idea how, but I'm also gonna wee myself. So let's go get shower and then let's get them some food. I didn't get through them all. It's too hard, okay? It's too hard. They're too annoying. Come on, they're getting hungry. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to be faster than this. <gasps> what are you just doing? Putting the kid... <sighs> Why did you just do that? Why? Seriously, why would you just do that? You stupid idiot. Bring it back inside. Bring it back. No, bring it inside. You. Ah! Why are you trying to make this so much harder for me? Pick the kid up and put it inside. It's hungry. Oh, you fool. I can't believe I almost got through all the babies and now the stink. Oh, she's got a little spot on the end of her nose. The stink of the stinky ones will be infecting the clean ones. How filthy they are. Look, Tegan just had a strop because she's like dirty. And all the clean babies like got a little image of her above their heads being angry. The babies have sorted a class system based on who got bathed last. And these guys are literally the, the peasants of the group now. Because <laughs> they got bathed the least. And oh wow, I'm asleep on the floor. Just get, like you're gonna have to get five minutes and then we're gonna have to go back in. And the dollhouse is smashed, so... Anarchy will be ahead of us. Okay, I'm gonna try and end the class warfare that's going on with some baths. <gasps> Indy wants to come over and help. Only if you actually like help. Just do, just don't play on my PC, like help, please. Oh, he's cleaning the floor. Okay, that's good, that's good. I was the last baby to get washed. You can't say there's any favoritism because they're literally, I, I favored myself the least. I'm not even planning on washing myself at this rate. I'm just, if I get chance, everyone who's awake, I'm just gonna change their diapers. I feel like that will at least give them, make them a little bit more comfortable, you know? And then I've got to start cooking again. Uh. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Look, I'm trying to get in a bit of potty training. Wow, poor salad. How'd you get a salad wrong? I'm trying to get in some potty training while I can. 
just to like try desperately to keep them a little bit cleaner. So whoever's awake gets potty trained. Oh man, I need potty training, jeez. Okay, I've called them to meal. I think I think all the babies are in. Okay, the babies are in. We're definitely we're definitely locking this. No, they're getting out. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to lock them in, but they've escaped. They're basically just they're sleeping for like five, like napping here for like five minutes and then going to the top of the bed. I just need to like focus on them going to sleep because when they sleep, toddlers sleep for ages. So I just need to get to that point. But like, what, whoa, what are you even doing? How are the toddlers? How are they literally running this ring, many rings around you? Put the kids to bed. Forget, just focus on one thing at once. Look, he's in your house laughing at you. Look, properly asleep, properly tucked in. Stay asleep. Okay. Oh, it was meant to be three asleep. But the last minute, she couldn't do it. Last minute. And she has to get back on cooking again. <gasps> Kobe, yes, please come help. Please come help. You're usually useful. And you can get my fun up. Okay, Kobe, help me, friend. Help me. Kobe, let's do woo-woos. Look at him just like observing the mess. Just being like, oh my. Is he going to clean this up for me? Are you going to clean it? No, you're just going to smell it. Okay, not helpful. Oh, look, he's starting the one with his own baby, though. So at least he can recognize his own baby. <laughs> then I'm literally just going to go ask him for boo-boos so my fun goes up. Because, like, like, would you really, would you really in the midst of this be like, yeah, that's a uh, boo-boo. That's totally not all. We can't, we can't woo-woo because there's a stupid baby in the room. Get out, baby. This is my time. But look how long the ones I actually got to bed have stayed asleep for. This, this is what we need to do. This is the new better plan. Thanks, Kobe. My fun is looking good now. I let his chit chat with his daughter. Clear favoritism, but he's the father, so, like, fine. Do, do as you please. Okay, I spotted that Abby just ate. Every time they just eat, I'm gonna put them to bed. That Them's is the new rules. Okay, another one's to bed. Have you eaten? Ida, did you just eat? No, you need to eat. Ida, eat. I can't make you. I can't make you do it. I know the quality's trash, but I need you to eat. Ida's chosen death. Ida's like, this isn't living. I choose death. This is so. This is somehow harder than the babies. Because at least the babies like couldn't move. These ones are wild and free. They're like, this is so much harder. Look at all the pain. Like, literally. Look. There's just pain. Pain absolutely everywhere. Oh my gosh. I look like a decorating company right now. Never realized until this point that toddlers wouldn't like actually go to sleep unless you told them. They just do that nonsense napping thing. I did I literally didn't even know that that was a thing. And I hate it. I hate that it's a thing so like what is that is gonna happen over there? I hate that it's a thing so much. How far into it am I? Okay, we're halfway. Three days left. Three days left. Come on, you can do this. But Kobe's here, so I'm trying to make it look like I'm looking after his child. He's like, ah, yes. This is this neglect at all. Look at all these screaming children. Kobe just stood there like, woo woo, you know what? <gasps> Ida can use the potty chair. I've actually managed to potty train one of them. I don't know how, because I have never learned that skill myself, apparently. But I've made one of them learn it, at least. Hey, Kobe's like, you took too long. <laughs> Goodbye. Four asleep would, would make my life so much easier. Oh, no, you can't, you can't do it. Come on, just put him to bed. Just put him into bed. What? Oh, it's because... Ah. <laughs> they keep stealing my pathways. <gasps> oh, my gosh, four. Four asleep. Four. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Go to sleep. No, please just go to sleep. Please. Oh my gosh, and now she's woken up. Just go to sleep. Brody's the worst. Brody's the worst. I hate him the most. Why are you sleeping like that, idiot child? Go into this bed instead. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Wait, don't wake him. Leave him. Leave him. Oh my gosh, yes. I know it seems like more work, but they sleep for so much longer. It makes my life so much easier. Get to bed. Go to sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, it's just baby me left. It's just baby me left. And I need to eat. Okay, do some cleaning. Do some cleaning. And then we'll get the final one to bed. If, if I could get this one to bed, it will be the first time it's happened since they were became toddlers. Actually, I think it'll be the first time all of them have been asleep since they were born. No, okay, one of them just woken up. <laughs> We almost had it, gang. Oh, and I'm gonna be the final one going to sleep. Great, 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 great. Sleep! Two days left, gang. We're nearly there. I only have one boy. Did I, I literally only have one boy. How have I only just realized this? How did I have six girls and one boy? Like, how? Almost Abby's birthday. Oh my gosh, thank you, Sim Gods. Soon, please, soon. I can't handle this anymore. It's driving me mad. I hate them. I hate them. I just hate them. They're just too much work. They are just too much work and I don't like them. <gasps> I forgot about food. Okay, you need to cook quickly because they're so close to their birthdays. We can't lose now. As soon as it says it's their birthday, they're just all getting aged up. We're cooking cakes and they're just all getting aged up immediately. One day. One day left. Come on. Come on. 
Please, please, please. I'm so close. <gasps> Kobe's here. Kobe's here. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time to get your fun up. I know you're dazed. Oh my gosh, lack of circles. You've not slept properly in seven days. I feel like this is actually quite an accurate representation of a toddler, to be admit. Not this. This doesn't happen when you have a toddler. But the rest of it feels pretty accurate. <gasps> Look at all these notifications. Yes! Yes! You're having birthday cake for breakfast, kids! I've had enough of you! I've so had enough of you! I got better at the end, but I was still trash. And this, this challenge is still insanely hard. They're about to become children. I'm kind of invested in them now. And I like want to know what they're going to like look like as children. I want to be there for the next part of their lives. But I'm also acutely aware that I hate them all. Does the challenge get easier once they become like children? I imagine it does. You know they're all, by the way, going to start like eating each other's cakes when I put like candles on it. You just know that's going to happen. Okay, 6 a.m. Wake up. Wake up. We're doing this. We aging them up. We're getting rid of them. It's love day and I love the fact that you guys aren't going to be toddlers anymore. Okay, look at this. A candle with a heart on it. Ah, uh, must be in the center. Add some birthday candles. There we go. Add them. And then we can unlock the door. The hoard can come out. And then let's do this in age order. Okay. Help blow out candles, Abby. <laughs> let's do this. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got to this point. I can't believe my sim's still alive. I actually can't believe she's still alive. That's the biggest mind-blowing thing ever to me. We're going to add more birthday candles because this is going to be a conveyor belt, okay? This is going to be a system. She had one, two, one, two. No, that's not too bad. And I'm going to roll the dice. She's hot-headed. Can I? Oh, we're not. Oh, why can't I roll the dice on the, on the aspiration? Okay, she was hot-headed, which kind of suits the Villarreal's to a T. And I'm just going to do this. Okay, you're mental. There you go. Next. <laughs> I don't know why you've got that hair. But if you want me to do the next part of this challenge, that's when I'll make them. I'll oh, Avil said I'll be a gift. Avil, I've not heard from you at all. Okay. No, what are you doing? We've got a system here. Don't put down the child. Yeah, if you want me to do the next part that is when um i'll like update their appearance again and we'll see them as children okay so rebecca aged up she is a vegetarian well that's gonna make things easy isn't it and hers is social okay boom next up is tegan look they can get their own food what are you doing Ugh! stop being an absolute egypt okay tegan let's do this tegan is erratic okay and she is Mental. Mental and erratic. They're all aging up so weirdly. Can I get any idea of how they're going to look yet? Not under that mop of hair. I'm so, so excited to see how they're all going to look at the next stage. Okay, I think it's Brody next. I'm doing it based on the order down here. I kind of want to see what they're going to look like as teenagers. Like, I, I do want to take it the whole way. Obviously, Brody's been a nightmare. Obviously, Brody's been a nightmare. Why wouldn't he be? Brody, your turn to age up, kiddo. You're, you better get a, a horrible trait because you're a horrible kid. Cheerful. Lie that is. Everyone's mental because I appear to click in the middle. Look, a, look at them slum in the fridge. They're all such angry children. Okay, you're sensitive. Creative. Okay, there we go. No, add birthday candles. Don't do this to me. Forget the toddlers. Forget them. Just add the candles because otherwise people are going to eat it. Yep, you can come over. You just missed your kid's birthday, I'm afraid. Kind of mean of me, but all oh, kids are weeing themselves. Okay, and the fridge is on fire. I raged up. I am a child of the ocean. I've had so many like messages about how hungry they are. I'm looking for children. They're just wrecks as children as well. I don't want anyone to die in this fridge, so I'm just going to replace the fridge. It's the final one! We did it! Technically, that is the challenge complete. Uh, music lover. I've got all of them to toddlers without having any of them taken away. Dominic sent Ida a gift. Who's Dominic? Confused. A boyfriend already. Like, what's going on there? I've actually got them all to toddlers. No one got taken away. Nobody got taken away. No one. Also, y'all need to go because it's love day and I want my Kobe woo woos. Kids, get out. Ow. You know you're not allowed in this part of the house. Kids, go. Leave. All of you. Be gone. Yeah, your mum's the biggest wreck of all, let's face it. But the toddler challenge is complete. Do I take it to the next level? Do I make them children? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to... Wait, you're still hungry. Be sure to feed it before she gets taken away. There's a fridge full of food. Oh, they can't get to the fridge. The kids at this point are just like, screw your privacy. We're coming in. Yeah. Do I take it to the next level? Do I try and get them to teenagers? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge though are you proud that i got them this far let me know and i did it i'll see you guys in the video thank you so much for watching bye